the wall behind me is our contribution to London graduates who lost all their graduate shows during pandemic. And we choose uh, four students of London University who describe themselves in different techniques, different styles. We just like to support them and show them in uh, such amazing space, in such a gallery. During the pandemic, uh, I think it's essential that uh, people reflect on how their lives are progressing and what they're doing with their own artistic practices as well as within themselves because of course internal conflict causes external conflict as well. I hope that uh, by the end of viewing this work uh, people will be able to take away that culture prevails throughout any conflict and any pandemic and that we can connect through our cultural memory. In my recent works, I try to explore more the idea or the concept of contemporary masks we are encountering in our daily life. But I'm also intrigued in looking into the idea of digital masks in particular. I'm talking about emojis. Digital masks, emojis, uh, is very similar to the idea of wearing a psychological social mask. Uh, we are either trying to enhance certain expressions or emotions, or we are trying to hide certain tensions. We are Tyman and Smith and we welcome you to the era of redemption. The next golden age society. Let us enlighten you to a path of sustainability, self-reflection and self-improvement. Both the pieces behind us are made solely from recycled and upcycled materials. We are anti-reductionism and we are the forward thinking of anti-postmodernism. At this year's Star Art Fair, um, the two works that I've chosen to exhibit are um, symptomatic of a form of research that has started to take place during the pandemic for me, moving out of London and back to my childhood home for the first time in eight or nine years. Um, I became interested in the inconsequential uh, moments like uh, light and shadow play and seeing them as a kind of form of allegory and metaphor for wider cosmological concerns. At such a gallery start this year, I present my latest body of work, uh, where I combine uh, individual abstract movements into paper symphony. As a London-based Russian abstract painter, I have three teachers. From Marcel Duchamp, I have learned that anything can be recognized as a piece of art. Jackson Pollock enables me to transfer all my passion, love and inspiration into artworks. Tracy Emin is a brilliant example for me how to be open, honest and fully exposed in my artworks. Mm -hmm.